Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use the divergence test to tell if series converge or diverge. This is the first of 10 tests we're going to be looking at for series. And this is gonna be the easiest one, which means we're never gonna get a chance to use it because the problems are too easy, so the professor never gives you these questions. It's a shame. One thing I wanna tell you, this is also known as the nth term test. So if you've ever heard of that, it's the same thing as the divergence test. And here it goes. So if I have some series from n equals whatever to infinity and a sub n, where a sub n is the, the function or the series, then all you gotta do is take the limit as n goes to infinity of your series and you're gonna get one of two results. You're either going to get not zero, could be three, could be negative five, could be infinity, could be does not exist, just anything but zero. And then you instantly know that the series diverges, which is great. But the problem with the divergence test and why it's the weakest test is because if you do get zero, then the result is not converges. The result is inconclusive. You have to use another one of the nine tests that we have to prove if it diverges or not. So really the only time you should be using the divergence test is number one, if the problem tells you to, or if you see immediately that the limit as n goes to infinity is not going to be zero. And to get some practice with that, we're gonna be looking at a few practice problems today. And here's the first one. The series from n equals zero to infinity of n squared minus n over n squared plus one. So. In order to try the divergence test for this one, I'm gonna say limit as n goes to infinity of my series. And then if I wanna solve this limit, I see that this is a polynomial where the degrees are equal. So I know the shortcut when the degrees are equal, I can just divide the leading terms. So it's gonna be n squared over n squared, which is just one. And one is not zero, so it diverges and normally in series, you have to state the test you used to prove it. So diverges by the divergence test or the nth term test. And there we go. Looks like the divergence test is pretty easy, except of course, when you get inconclusive, then we're, we're out of luck. So here's the next one. Series from n equals one to infinity of two to the n over three to the n plus one. And so if I wanna use the divergence test for this, limit as n goes to infinity of two to the n over three to the n plus one, my advice for you is you can break up the denominator because n plus one is the same thing as three to the n times three to the first. So in other words, you can rewrite this limit as two to the n over three times three to the n. And the reason why I'd want to do that is because now I can group these two terms together to really just make it two thirds to the n and then a one third out in front. And the reason why I'd want to do this is because the one third doesn't matter at all. And really two thirds to the nth power, because this two thirds is less than one, I know it's going to be zero as n goes to infinity. That's a shortcut that you can and should memorize. So in other words, because we got zero, this is inconclusive and that's it for this one because I'm not gonna do another test yet. Right now I'm just doing the divergence test. So that's a shame. Divergence test did not work because it doesn't work most of the time, honestly. But that's okay, we got one more for you. It's the series n equals zero to infinity of negative one to the nth power. Now this is an interesting one because if I take the limit as n goes to infinity, this is gonna be like negative one to the infinity power, which is kind of confusing to think about. So two things I have to say about this. Number one, the alternating aspect doesn't matter for series, at least not for the divergence test. It would matter for other tests, such as the alternating series test. But for this one, I can just write it as limit as n goes to infinity of just positive one to the nth, which is just essentially gonna be one, which is not zero, which means diverges by the divergence test. And that's the answer for this one. The other thing I wanna say, the other way you could have done it, is if you actually write out the first few terms of this series, it's starting with zero, negative one to the zero is positive one, 
and then next term is negative one, and then the next term is plus one, and then minus one, and it goes like that forever. And because we're not settling on a single value, and because the value is not approaching zero, it's just stuck between one and negative one, you could also say that the limit is not gonna be zero. You may not know what it is, it probably does not exist, but it's not zero, so that's another way you can prove it through the divergence test. And so that's all the examples I wanted to look at today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.